Good evening, everybody. Former Truman State baseball coach, associate athletic director, and trainer Sam Nugent died yesterday. He was one of those guys who liked everybody, and everybody liked him. For more than 50 years, Sam was loyal to the university as a head coach, a trainer, an administrator, and then the last bunch of years as a fan and a good fan and, and was truly, Fred, forever a loyal Bulldog. I really appreciated Sam for the fact uh, when I came here and over the last 17 years of just being able to visit with him regularly over coffee and uh, just getting a great historical perspective on uh, what he went through as an uh, you know, athletic administrator and coach here. A huge loss for the Bulldog family and, and uh, Sam really impacted you know, what you do for others is your legacy. And uh, he's going to have a huge legacy of, of guys that in all eras of dogs that are going to be touched by his passing. Let's head to the annual La Plata basketball shootout. It's the Kirksville girls and Harrisburg. Kirksville and Black unselfish play. Three passes later, Johnson will score. Leah Barton gets those two back on the out-of-bounds play. At the other end, the Tigers' Rachel Vorkink would score on almost the same play. Moving to the next game, the Kirksville girls walk by me. Walk by me is Trevor Pipes of La Plata will score underneath on a nice little move. Moverly's Savion Thorpe has old school shorts on, but his jumper is 21st century. However, La Plata works the ball down court in a hurry. Jason Campbell will score underneath. More transition basketball by the Bulldogs. Justin Woods will finish from the corner. It's week four of junior golf at the beautiful Kirksville Country Club. Today, it was more of the basics, chipping and putting. However, the repetition of working on the same drills is finally starting to pay off. I was hitting the ball further, and I was getting closer to the hole whenever I was chipping. We did a contest over on the chipping green. Um, we learned how to chip, and it was fun. On chipping, we learned how we put all of our weight on the left side and short swings. The Atomo softball team won a pair of games last night over North, and they did not even have to put their uniforms on as North forfeited. The Bulldogs improved to 18-13 and 13 on the year. They will be back on the field Wednesday night as they will host Lincoln in a doubleheader. That's a team they beat back on June the 12th, 4 to nothing and 6 to nothing. The Bulldogs will be busy before the playoffs start, so what will they be working on? You know, you don't do anything different. You just make sure you don't practice too long. You take a few reps, swings with the bats, and maybe cover a few things fundamentally that you need picking up. The Timber baseball team has won four in a row after last night's sweep of North 10 to nothing and 11 to nothing. To say that the Bulldogs pitching has been good all year is an understatement. With a pair of shutouts last night, it gives the Timber 10 shutouts on the year. Not sure if that will happen when they face Roosevelt tomorrow. The last time the teams met, Ottumwa gave up 25 runs as they lost 11-5 and tied 14-14. The Cardinals are in Arizona tonight while the Royals take on the Tigers in the Motor City. We'll have highlights of that game on the late sports. Teresa is up next with all your final weather. Stay with us.